Here's Robert, right here. Right here. He's a badass. What motor have you built, Robert, from the ground up? Tell me. Talk about it. 289 Hypo. Right. How'd you build it? Piece by piece. Where'd you build it at? Huntington, New York. Okay. Tell me about your build. Build it piece by piece. No, uh, piece by piece could be like bolt by bolt, not by nut. Come on, Robert. Come on. How about, how about like take the block, huh? bore the block to the specifications you want. Right. How about now look up the crank. Look out what look at what a 289 hypo crank is. Right. A 289 hypo is much different than a 289. Right. It has different heads. It has a different crank. I like that. What? Yeah, keep on going. Keep on getting mad. I like that. I like that. Tell tell us about it. So anyway. So who bored out your cylinders? I don't know the name of the company. Oh, so you had a company do it. I thought you did it. No. Right. No. Because you think I got a cat? Yeah, you know, I'm able to measure and, and bore it out to the perfect specifications? No. No. Nobody bores out their own block. Yeah, they do. If you have a machine shop. Oh, okay. So you got to have a machine shop. For yep. Oh, okay. How many people you think bore out their own motor? Well, I bore my own fucking cylinders. Uh, with a motorcycle, it's a lot different. Right. It is. I port my own cylinders. Different with the port motorcycle. my own heads. Dude, you know I've ported my own cylinders and fucking done bored out my own cylinders. That's a fucking you know, 50 cc Chinese you motor, know, though. Yeah, and you're trying to compare a bike to a motor to a to a. Uh, a yeah. A Chinese motor to a real motor. No, you're trying to compare a Japanese motor to an American car motor. Right. Night and day. So, your the did motor you, that you, you built, close? your motor that you built, what kind of tranny do you run on it? What kind of tranny was it? Yeah. It was a Muncie 4-speed. Muncie 4-speed. I never heard of it. It must be like uh, the Munster's Mobile. You're serious. No, I never heard of it. You're really serious. Never heard of it. If you call your friend right now, Mike, and you ask him about a Muncie four speed. Right. So you, what you say you don't know what it is and you think it's something from Mickey Mouse, he's gonna be like, Mike, I think I just lost all respect for you. Alright, so what did your car do in the quarter mile? Never really took it down. Really? No. So how much horsepower gain did you get? It was rated at 375. That's what a 289 hypo is rated at. Right. But I altered things from a 289 hypo. Right. So I don't know what it was putting out. Because I'm talking about building a hot rod to right. actually use it. Right. I'm not talking about a guy who wants to jerk off with numbers and take it to a shop to get it dyno tuned. Right. I'm talking about someone that actually wants to build it from ground up and not jerk off. That's what these guys who take it and get dynoed and all this shit. That's right. It. No. Build it for the street. Ride it on the street. Your dyno tuner, your dyno tuner's your fucking feelings. If it's not running right, dial it right. Fix it. You don't go, you don't need some machine to tell you, oh. So what kind of carburetor do you run on that? That was just a simple Holly 750. Holly 750, right? Pretty good. What kind of ignition system? MSD. MSD. Distributor. Pretty good. What kind of suspension? Never took care of suspension. Really? So you just put road tires on and fucking lit them up? Yep. Cool. Hey, Robert. You're a badass. No, I'm not. You're a badass. No. You are. Robert is a badass. No, I'll stop Car that. builder. 